and it needs what it needs is a revolution and so the people and it's like you and i who are astounded at this that we you know rise up and kind of collectively tell uh let people know who are in power that we're not accepting this and just because you are trying to make it difficult doesn't mean that we're going to accept it <laughs> and we can vote them out and you know try to pass policies and things like that but that very example is what i was talking about last night in harris county in houston texas 110,000 votes that this judge is deciding whether to count or to throw out and i told my friend they're doing this in the broad daylight like they're not even trying to hide their hands and if we don't do something as a collective to um, prevent that and to tell them that's not acceptable people who know that they can't win fairly are going to continue to manipulate the system and so when we talk about the african-american vote there's so many counties that black people live in where the right to vote, the right to exercise the vote is not, not easy. Like you said, one polling place for you know, 300,000 people, or they, they make the polling places so far away that you can't get to them, or they don't count the ballots and they throw them away. And so I hear both parties saying that Black people are going to be responsible for whether they win or lose. And I just refuse to have a country that has um, continually kept its neck on the people of uh, black people in this country um, when it comes to voting to say that we are responsible for the outcome that they want. That's not fair. You sh they should be allowing us to exercise our right to vote without hindrance. And uh, that's the message that the media needs to be telling and the black media in, in particular. So I, I saw an interview with a guy named Ron Brownstein. I don't know if you're familiar with him, but uh, he's a pretty astute guy. And I, I think he has an article in the Atlantic, if I'm not mistaken. And what he was saying was that the conservatives are in such panic because they know that in the future, the demographics are gonna be against them because they're gonna be more people of color in this country that will be the majority and um and that when that day of reckoning comes uh you know there, there's going to be the ability to uh to uh determine who's in government who's in judges positions who's in all these things do you do you have 